Okay, so I know some people asked earlier, the couples here, you guys, apparently there's like a UN peacekeeping troops in the middle. <laughs> it's either that or the three of you live in Discovery Bay, one of them. <laughs> in which case, I can be your helper, please. I will hold the camera, sir. I don't give a shit. You look like a retired pilot. And by retired, I mean he, he fired you because he did a lot of drugs on the job. <laughs> what do you do, sir? D don't beat me up, please. There's... By the way, no, no, before you answer, I am security here too. I do everything, so if you beat me up, I can't, yeah. <laughs> what do you do? What is he, are you boyfriend? What is this? What is this shit? What's going on here? Are you his lawyer? Your client can't speak. Also, your bald head is another spotlight in my face. It's reflecting the light. Can I just borrow your sunglasses so I can talk to you? <laughs> I love how audience members try to be funny. It's like, dude, I have the microphone. I will always win. I was doing a show, a private show actually, for all this fancy CAOs a couple of weeks ago. And this guy, I can tell that he wants attention. So at some point, I'm like, all right. I just asked him, what, what's his name? Knowing that he's going to say something funny. And he did. He goes, he's like this white guy with like blonde hair. And he goes, ah, oh, me? I am Brad Pitt. And I go, you are Brad Pitt if it's from Taobao. <laughs> and he did not look at me for the rest of the show. <laughs> Do you want to try again? <laughs> What's his job? Okay, see? Good boy. <laughs> What's his name? Shilla. Oh, yeah, yeah, someone did ask her. What, what is that from? Like, what is that originally from? India. Oh, okay, cool. Well, what kind of Indian are you? I don't know, they have fucking like 700 languages. Don't fucking laugh at me, you white lady. <laughs> That's brown and brown action here, you don't know. I can see everybody. Uh, oh, okay. Well, are you Muslim originally? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can tell that you're like, alright, that's no, there's only one Muhammad per hundred white people in the room. Do you grow up with Muslim friends? Is that where the conflict is, or no, no far? No, I, I, grew up in, I grew up in Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. Oh, wow, okay, so you're, okay, oh, Middle East. Like, like, like you. How's, how's your Arabic? Like yeah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell that you're richer than me, that's why I'm scared of you. <laughs> the only reason. I had of all of your money, it still doesn't amount to how much you give your helper, even. <laughs> you grew up in Saudi Arabia? Okay, well, how's your Arabic? Terrible. Terrible? Did you learn? Did you, did, did, were you in one of these compounds in Riyadh where they have all the foreign kids? In Jeddah? Oh, that's, that's a cool place. Okay, How did you travel in the Middle East at all? Yeah. Where'd you go? Yeah. <laughs> I think the immigration police was looking for people downstairs. <laughs> And I think they might have been looking for you. <laughs> have you been smuggling people from Yemen? <laughs> Yemen, okay. Was it, was it fun in Yemen? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so b before it was, you know, hell. Yeah. Alright, it's sad. <laughs> I was gonna close here, but since you lived, you said you lived in the Middle East, I'll tell you a quick story that I don't usually do on my shows. But it's just for you, you guys can leave, it's fine. <laughs> have, you, have you been to Iraq before? Yes. Okay, when did you go? Uh, oh, wow, did you start the Gulf War? What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Were you hiding Saddam? What was the deal? What kind of marketing were you doing in Iraq in 1979? <laughs> What, what were you doing there? Uh, yeah, I don't think you went to Iraq in 1979 for tourism. <laughs> you did? Okay, which was it Baghdad? No, we drove to 
Okay, do you see a trend of the countries you go to? <laughs> that after you go, it all goes to shit. <laughs> Can you stop going places, please? Oh, actually, I have a better idea for you. Why don't you move to China? <laughs> I think that's a good place for you.